not yet dead. And welcome back to Trenton World. I'm getting some really weird things going on with the game when I'm trying to record it, and I'm not sure why. Uh, but hopefully, it'll be alright this time. So, here we are, back on Trenton World. I haven't driven this for a while, fingers crossed. You know, I don't even know if that's the right side. Of course it wasn't, don't be stupid. Why would I pick the right side? <laughs> Lols. So, we are at... Where are we starting? Oh, Peterborough. Definitely Peterborough. This is kind of my home route. Which is why I thought it would be quite fun to do it next. Um, but it has been a while since I've driven this, so... <coughs> Let's see how it goes, shall we? Uh, yeah, I, um, I'm doing this slightly differently. I discovered that um, I don't know what else I need to do. Just give me a second while I think about what, what's going on. So what's going on? I mean, there's some easy stuff you can do, right? Let's put them on. That's fine. There you go. Wow, that was a delayed reaction. PPWS and AWS operational. Yes, dear. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, lights work fine. Down light or whatever. Let's get a bit of fan. Uh, uh. Oh, that actually makes a noise. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's have it on cool, because I like to be cool. I don't need it that cool, though. Let's just make it a little bit more. There we go. Um, I, 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 I have no idea what else I might have forgotten about. The next station stop is Doncaster. Oh, wow, this is a di direct train. Okay. I picked it because it was a bit shorter. The next one in my journey was actually um, um, done. Um, let's close the doors. Yeah, next one in my actually journey was like an hour long. So I thought, you know what, we'll uh, which I could, uh, maybe we'll do that, and maybe even this one I might I might do into clips, clips rather than recording the whole thing or I'll split it somewhere. I don't know. Let's see what happens, shall we? Here we go. So yeah, in the Azuma. So yeah, this is kind of like my home route. So I spent, uh, before I moved out to where I am now, I must have spent um, nearly eight years commuting down this route. So we're gonna go past my home station, so that we're not gonna stop there. Though interestingly enough, this route has a lot of links for me, right? Um, as it happens, um, uh, I used to live, and my parents, or my mum, still lives near Doncaster. So this, for me, is the line, right? Equally, we used to live not too far from Sheffield, so depending on where we're going, we'd go from Sheffield or Doncaster, but, um, but yeah, it's sort of uh, familiar. And of course, the Azuma, when it came out, I was on this for quite a few years before I moved. Um, so I was delighted when this came out. I was dying for this route to come out. Um, and uh, yeah, so it goes through my home station, which is Grantham, which is really cool. Route 25, here we go, 115, right. Let's floor it. Get the power down, as they say. So I've got a cup of tea. Yes, here we go. Sorry, I might go a bit Jeremy Clarkson. I've been watching uh, Clarkson's farm. But yes, I'm testing something else. So if you watched my previous one, I um, I did say that I'd got uh, um, I put a filter on the microphone to cut to cut out the noise of the fan. Um, and actually, turns out that I can actually put a filter on during processing, and I think it sounds a bit better. So this time we're trying it that way. We'll see how it all comes out. But um, but yeah, I've also learned a few things from last time. So um, but it it. it it may not be quite as sharp. I haven't put animations on the text. I need to figure out if I can do that because that's what I do on the PlayStation, but it's not essential, right? I'm quite happy just to have a still with the title shot, title screen. The rest of it, pretty much as I've always done it. You may or may not agree that's a good or a bad thing. I don't know, that's up to you, but um, but at least I'm up to a, a similar level of editing, right? Um, so we'll see how it goes. So I learned a few things doing the last one. It took me a heck of a long time. I was basically rather than trying to figure it out. The software I'm using to edit is not easy. 
um, I used to use Premiere actually as part of my job when I first started working which to be fair was quite a few years ago now um, and uh, I became quite proficient in it this one very different um, so it was basically every time I needed to do something I uh, I had to um, to, to Google it basically so I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos about anti various aspects but we got there and I'm, I, I was actually incredibly satisfied that I'd done it just once so uh, so yeah so I thought I'd do another train one and then well maybe we'll do some trucking we'll see how it goes with uh, the old steering wheel and stuff um, yeah there's all sorts of stuff I mean there's all sorts of stuff I play on my laptop we've got trucking we've got um, Forza we've got Actually, Manalords, which I bought recently, so maybe if there's uh, people interested, perhaps I'll put that on. So, this isn't going to be a fast run by the look of it, because crikey, there's a heck of a lot of signals. We're clearly following something, hopefully, we'll overtake it at some point. Let's see, we're just keeping behind at the moment. What, what power level we got? Okay, okay, so we are slowing down behind it a little bit. It's good, so we can give it a bit of a run. Bit of a grey day. Bit of a grey day. Bit of a shame. It's lovely when it's sunny this week. But it's cool, nonetheless. How are we doing for friends? Yeah. Like I said, it's a laptop, bless it. So, you know. Running a running a high speed route on a game that in relative terms it, it needs quite a bit of power. Um, I suppose there's a lot going on in the old simulcraft. Um, and um, it, it might not be optimised quite as well as it could be. Shh. That varies from route to route, by the way, which is interesting. Um, and it's recording, right? It's recording. 1080p, you know, blah. Um, what I found out last time was that the export that I did, which took ages, was actually in 60 frames a second, so actually it was upscaling the video. It took a long time. So I'm afraid to say I'm only going to do it um, at 30 frames because frankly a lot of the time when I'm recording that's all I'm really getting but you know what I know as a purist gamer that may not sound that great but to me that's faster than uh, cinema video so you know what that's okay it's fine for me um, so I hope it's okay for you as well sadly at this point in time there's not an awful lot I can do about it but like I said on my previous video I might I might yet get a uh, I might yet get a whistle. Um, wow, that's loud. Yeah, I might, I might get a gaming PC at some point, but for right now, not. This is what we got, and for me, actually, it works well. ETS, crank it. I mean, we are playing with ultra graphics, right? But the, the interesting thing about Transit World is that it plays according to what it can do. So you do notice some of the finer graphical effects sometimes you don't see if it's struggling with frame rates on a route. Um, just uh, saying hello to me, mate. Um, which actually I don't think they actually do, but there you go. I like to do it, it's fun. So we are pooping nicely. And actually catching up. So let's take some speed off. Sorry about that, I noticed my mouse movements were perhaps quite as smooth as they could have been in the, uh, in the previous video. Um, here you go, speed up again. Um, just like a practice really, right? I'm used to using the controller. That also means that occasionally, because I'm a bit limited in terms of space my mouse. Um, so yeah, that also means that occasionally you'll hear a bit of a mouse clap as I lift it up and put it down again. So apologies for that. I will try and get smoother. Who knows? Maybe the new filter will knock some of that out. Maybe. Would I just see a flash on the old uh, open set? Nice. Good. Well, you know, like I say, I do like this route. It's my home route, but it's not a lot to do, is there, really? 
it's relatively straight which to be fair you don't really notice when you're uh, when you're sitting in the train as opposed to driving it and you can just see this straight track ahead of you for miles but it's a, it's a great I was yeah like I say I was very happy when uh, they announced it was part of the part of the base base uh, routes for TSW4 I've got to say lovely and I get it's its home route it's not the most interesting route to take the flying Scotsman on because you know um, but maybe we'll do a bit of that as well at some point I do love the flying Scotsman but actually I did a really short one the other day with um, the uh, is it the Elizabeth no the Jubilee class isn't it it's the Jubilee class um, uh, I took that on oh my goodness was it the Glossop line I think there's one really short journey I might do some more of that it's quite a lot on there with, with a few different add-in add -in locos it's actually quite nice um, but yeah so I, I did a short run on that the other day that was quite fun I did enjoy that should do some steam at some point not the time particularly good at it um, but we should do some because it is fun I am no expert by a very long way whoa class train I did think actually I should take a screenshot for a thumbnail because I had to really hunt around just making that noise that's odd um, yeah, I should take a good screenshot for a thumbnail at some point, so maybe we'll do that. We go through a bit of a slow bit. In fact, we could do it as we go through Grantham, because that's my home station. That'd be kind of fun. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do that, but we can give it a go. So we're tootling along, 121. That's not too bad. Let's push it back up to 125. I do like the slightly, slightly thicker uh, cables they put in. TSW4 just to make that a little bit more visible. I get that maybe they're not scaled and blah blah, but oops, sorry, my bad. A bit too much pedal to the metal. Just off a little bit, we are going uphill, so we really need to brake. Put back on two, hopefully that will keep us at speed. There we go, fine. Oh, lots of green lights now, nothing to worry about. 61 miles to go. You only have to sit and listen to me for 37 minutes. Maybe we'll do a bit of time lapse. I'll, 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 I could get some music actually. I've got a whole load of YouTube music downloaded. Actually, I should I should put in. What I had to do when I was editing the last video was find all the bits that I use, right? So my, my jingle my jingle music, which I, I recorded by the way, I, that was me. Um, my jingle music that I created. Um, and my, and my images that mate and mine did yogs ago. I am wondering about rebranding the channel. I need to have a word with uh, 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 someone I know who might be able to help out with that. Um, I might be watching someone the same thing. I'll just bring it on him now. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm umming and ahhing about rebranding because now I'm on the laptop. There'll be quite a major shift in the focus of the channel. It won't be just farming. It never was just farming, but it was primarily farming with a little bit of trains. Um, now I'm on the laptop, that will change. Um, because part of the reason I got a laptop was because I wanted to play Euro Truck. I wanted to get Forza Horizon. How well it'll play and record that, I don't know, but fingers crossed. Um, it does do it. I was quite stunned, actually. Which again shows you about optimization. It's Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft. No, Microsoft, what I talk about. It's Microsoft Studios. It should be well optimized, right? But it does show you what a difference it makes because I can, I can run both four and five, or so Horizon four and five, um, at full pelt, and this is now struggling to do this um, just because I'm recording it. Um, so apologies for that. We'll see how it goes. If I need to reduce my graphic settings just because we're stream, we're recording, it would be a shame. But I can do it. And like I mentioned last time, I can't run this in 4K it just can't cope with it um, which is a bit of a shame um, whereas Euro Truck no problem uh, Forza, actually I don't know if I've tried to put Forza up to the 4K screen um, but, um, but yeah uh, they run ok so um, but it's fine I, I still think it looks a lot better than PS5 so for me that's good it's an upgrade um, it's much easier to use. I actually really enjoy playing trains on the laptop over uh, over the PlayStation, um, and I say it makes it mobile for me. Um, 
so it's good. And now I can record it and share it with you guys. That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying it too. I'm loving it, it's great. Do, do, do. Where are we? God only knows. Ooh, it kind of took a twist a bit. That's interesting. Yeah, kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Oh, right, okay. Really hard to tell. I wouldn't have thought we were that far away from Grantham, to be fair. Ooh, train coming. Urge it. Yep, yep, got it. Cool. You'd think I'd be able to recognise it. In fact, we must be coming up on Grantham, because it's... What time did we start? Yeah, we're definitely coming up on Grantham. It's like that. It's about 18, 20 minutes. So we must be. Well, no, because we actually go through a tunnel not long before we hit Grantham. So we'll be aware. In fact, we're slowing down now. So let's do that. I'm actually going to slow down slightly in our bounce because we will get there well before 2.39. Because this is a simulation and not reality. In reality, you'd always be late. Um, that's a bit unfair. They're not always late. Slightly more often than you might like, but they're not always late. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Right, we can do this. And we can do this. And we should just about be able to keep up. Oh my god. Slow down, will you? Hey, you want to bend? Cool. There's the tunnel. Keeping on the speed limit coming up. <laughs> That's cool. We're flying through a tunnel. Whee! There we go. Oh my goodness me, struggling to get ahead. I know where that is, I know that house. I drive past that house. Okay. Which means we really aren't far away at all. Coming up, coming up. But luckily, of course, we're not stopping. So, uh, yeah, I think those were a while ago. Um, got a couple of yellows coming up though, so I need to keep an eye. Should be getting there. Yeah. Oh no, but I can't stop the camera because if I stop the camera, it'll catch up with me. It will catch up with me. I mean, really, it will. I can't believe how far this is. Okay, I'm going to need to um, let's put a little bit of brake on. Oh no, it's gone now. That's okay then. Right. Okay, actually, this was a bit further than I thought. <laughs> oh, you're getting the flyover view. I just, I really want a good screenshot as it goes through Grantham. That's going to be my screenshot. I hope. Better work. Yep, there it is, the 100. That's the station. Okay, we've still got quite a long way to go. Mind you, I don't know where we are on that map because, of course, the 2.7 miles is where the, the, the end of it is where the train is. It's not where I am. There it is. That's the station, and there's a train. Hello, train. Builders Depot on the right hand side. Go under a bridge, go over a bridge. There we go. Whoa! Stop, got stopped by a pylon. Excellent. All right, chill. I do need to, I do need to actually take control of the train again, but we're here now, so we just need to figure out a good place to take a photo. And we need to slow it down. This is Grantham. Hey. Okay, just checking. No, 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 no. Oh, you git. Right, that nearly went wrong. Okay. Uh, why am I not? Oh, 
focus, of course it doesn't use the arrow keys, does it? That'd be too obvious. Right, sorry, apologies for this, but I really want to get a good screenshot. Which hopefully you've already seen, you're going, wow, and it was worth it, because this really is a good screenshot. I suppose the alternative is I could just cut this bit out. Ha ha ha, see, that's really good. I like it. The depth of field isn't too crazy. It's not too blurry. It's gone ever so slightly too too blurred because actually the focal point is in the wrong place and I can't change it enough. There we go. I think that looks okay actually. Not massive, ma massive keen on the old rotation thing. I don't think it's strictly necessary. I know people quite like messing with it, but field of view. Do I need to change that? I don't think. No, I don't think so. And then let's have a look. We could. Um, oi. We could brighten it up a little bit because blimey, it's a bit dull today. Boost the colours just a touch. Increase the vignette because I do like that. Just darkens the corners, makes it more focal on your on your image. What you want, right? And then we just do that, <coughs> and then we will hide the overlay. Done. Awesome. And we'll take a screenshot, mm. and we'll upload it as well. Not I ever remember to go into my account and actually publish any of them, but yeah, take it. And just for the heck of it, we'll take one separate. So I've got it. Cool. That was Grantham, folks. Awesome. We're only slightly over speeding. Half an hour to go, it'll take way less time than that. So I'll be able to speed off. There's the 115, we'll just go through it. Uh, what we got? Some stuff. We've just passed Asda. There you go. A1's over there. For those of you that know the A1, it's that way somewhere. Right, speedy up. Speedy up. Speedy up. Giddy up, boy. Giddy up. I mean, if we've got 46 miles to go at best part of 125 miles an hour, that's only going to take us about 20 minutes. We've got loads of time. Loads of time. So next stop, well, next stop, not next stop, next station, I think, unless I've forgotten one, it is new at Northgate, uh, which I've been to once. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I stopped at New York once. Is it Newark that I'm thinking of? It might be. So if I'm right, Newark um, is actually a really weird station, and probably some, some of you watching probably won't know this. I'm talking English. Um, in that actually you've got the high speed line going over the top and then it goes over another line that is exactly perpendicular to it. It's really peculiar. Um, and, and a really long walk from the high speed line to the uh, to the slower line. It's actually really interesting. And I've got some very good interesting photos of that from uh, when I went to buy a car. I actually had to get two trains. It was kind of fun. Right, I can speed up now, sorry, I'm a bit uh, too busy wittering, you see. This is the problem, I witter. Do, 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 do. If you've got any preferences for what line I should do next, let me know. I'm going to buy Mantelbahn and uh, Hamburg Lübeck, which of course, annoyingly, I'm gradually finding reasons that I have to uh, to buy the ones that I'd left on, PC, on, uh, on the PlayStation. Um, Part of the reason I haven't got Hamburg actually is because I've been focusing on getting a lot of the British routes, um, so that I've got that big stock of of, uh, of low coast that I can use all over. But um, but yeah, I haven't really been there for focusing so much on the German routes. But I am going to get Hamburg uh, because um, of course we've just had the new the new loco come out, the number of which escapes me. Apologies. Um, which I may not buy immediately, but I'll, and I'm also going to get Mantelbahn, which I hadn't got, but they're now both in a cracking sale. So uh, I'll get both of those. Hello, train. Boom. Um, 
and uh, so yeah, so those will be we'll have those around as well. And I, as I mentioned, the last one I might get Blackpool. There's a few others I've been really wanting to get. Burn, 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 is it the Bernina line? The Bernina burn, burn, line, or whatever it's called. The Bernina line um, was uh, is also a, one I quite fancy getting. And there's another one that's come out quite recently that I also really wanted to get. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few. Oh, and the the Suffragette line, the London route, Overland route, Overground route. Um, well, I've got so many to do. I barely touched the Baker Loop line since I since I got it on trains in World War, or since I migrated. I suppose actually that would have come with right. Did I? I think I started on the laptop with, with TSW two, worked through three, and now I'm on four. Um, I forget why how that happened. Um, ooh, yellows and a red. Not currently looking like they're changing, so let's put a bit of brakey on. Just in case there's no it's gone green, we're okay. Okie dokes. And it's cleared. Good. Again, might be there's a train in front that's gonna stop at Newark, maybe. We could stop and have a look at the map, you know what, I took long enough taking that photo, so Frank. Um, I'd forgotten that it would put me back in the driver's seat when I stopped and took the photo and then went back, you know, but I was too early and I went back in. I was only testing out because it's been a long time. I used to do a lot of screenshots and I've not done it for a while and I couldn't remember which buttons it was. And you can just escape and do it that way, kind of, I suppose it's probably a bit more reliable. Um, right, slowing down again. No, oh, we're okay. We're now 38 miles. Ooh, there's a big pause. Kind of want to be averaging 120 because I want to keep up the. We're going. You know, we're well on target time-wise, right? Quite a big pause there. Ooh. Ooh, classic six. Awesome. It's a shed. Ah, is that what we're behind? I guess not, because there's still a red signal coming up. That's a bit odd. Why is that then? So he pulled over to let us go past, which is very decent of him. Thank you very much. Yeah, I heard you. I'm watching. Okay, we need to slow down. No, we don't. Oh my goodness me. Well, you make your mind up. I mean, seriously. Do, 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 do. Oh, here comes Newark. At least I think this is Newark. If it is, we'll stop and we'll have a quick look. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. I'm fairly certain it was Newark where I stopped and it had two lines at 90 degrees. I mean, there's only, there's Newark and what's the other one that's between, between Grantham and Doncaster? There's only two stations between Grantham and Doncaster. Newark's one of them, and I don't remember the other one. Um, oh, did I miss a whistle? That's not good, is it? Too busy chatting. Chatting. So, London friend of mine, used to say. I do like the high speed routes and I love this one because it's, it's the Azuma and like I say it's a route that I used to run but I, it's just not a lot to do is there uh, okay you need to think about slowing down much that is you know about a mile and a half away so there's no major rush frankly Ooh, so is this is this new look let's see have I got it right or am I wrong Sure looks like it. Hang on. It does confuse me that it's not a a wobble boo. 
Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. This is new, and the buildings look real familiar. Maybe they just haven't put it in. I'm sure it is. Oh, well, let's not worry about it. Oops. Beep, beep. Then maybe it's not Luke. Perhaps I am wrong. Maybe it's the next one. I can't remember the next station. But that did look like the station I stopped at. That said, it, that was straight. And the one I stopped at wasn't straight. And I'm pretty sure it didn't have an... Oh, sorry. Missed it. Um, I'm pretty sure also that it didn't have an overpass, so I think it must be the next station. That's about to clear before I've even got to it. Uh, we've already gone through the 125. Um, before I've even hit 100, we've gone through the 125. We'll see. If we uh, spot another station, we'll have a quick look, and I'll figure it out, and then I'll correct myself. Silly me. 30 miles to go. Roughly 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit more. It is a bit of a grey day to be honest. It's also winter, but it's done much. It's not as green. I can't remember what time of year it's like. Oh, it's just not green, so we're okay. I've also got um, the uh, blah, 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 wherever it is, Avignon to whatever, Marseille, right? Uh, the TGV route, which um, I think was free at some point. I, I did have it on PlayStation um, and, and only did a couple of, couple of runs, but it's a, it's a nice route actually. In some ways it's more interesting because it's very up and down, it's like a roller coaster, it's crazy. Um, but uh, but yeah, we should do some of that actually, that'd be kind of fun. It's also slightly shorter, which to be honest, for videos is probably better. But it's fine. There we go, I was expecting that. Oh, I was gonna say we'll break, but no we don't need to, we're okay. We're keeping going just about whatever it is is just about keeping in front of us. But we are catching it up occasionally. So if I stick to about 120, let's see if that, that's better as a speed for us to maintain so that we don't catch up too much and don't have any of this constant, ah, oh, maybe I have to break, ah, oh, maybe I don't, ah, oh, you know, stuff, thing going on. Yeah. Ooh, anything in the siding? Looks like there's something in the siding. There is. Big trailers with another shed at the front, I assume. Yep, and as soon as we go through it, orange and it beep at me. We're okay and it, it's okay again. And it's actually odd because they seem to clear in twos, which I find a bit peculiar. Surely that's not to be expected, is it? I know. Hey, whistle. Hello. Well, if anyone was having a mid-afternoon nap, there won't be any more because crikey, that's loud. So coming up again. So we've gone through a green. I've got a green. Then two yellows. Will they change? Shaver, shaver. Show slow down a little bit. It's got a bend. It's exciting, isn't it? A twist in the tail. Someone's going to tell me that's the wrong way to sound the horn for that board, but you know, I'm doing my best. If it is the wrong way, please tell me, because I love to learn about this stuff and do it properly. It is, after all, a simulator, and I do like simulating, so feel free. In a nice way. Right. In a nice way. So I've heard they talk a lot about how the US do it and how sometimes they tell you how the Germans do it and blah blah. Um, 
but, uh, but I, did, I actually don't know what the rules are for the UK. Except you're not supposed to do it before whatever time in the morning, right? Which I try and avoid doing, but sometimes I can't help myself. Because, <laughs> you know, it's fun to sound the town that once you go through stations and all that jazz. Um, which, of course, I didn't in Grantham because I was too busy looking. And knew it, for that matter. So, yeah, I do love... I mean, the, honestly, is the scenery is good and... Uh, uh, what's the word? It's accurate-ish, but a bit lacking in some of the detail that makes it recognisable. Um, as I said, that that house underneath that bridge just before you come into Grantham, I know that very well. Um, so there are certain things that I look at. Go, oh yeah, I know that. I've been there. Um, but some of it just, yeah, it feels a little bit samey. But um, it's not helped by the fact this is a running winter and it is a bit drab. Um, but, uh, but otherwise, I mean, the stations are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I've spent far too much time at Peterborough Station because it was, if ever there were problems on the trains, it was always where I'd have to sit for half an hour to wait for a, a, a change. If, you know, if I could only get a train to Peterborough and then I had to get a separate train north, um, it was, you know, I, I, I'd spend a long time at Peterborough. So, yeah, Peterborough I know well. Grantham obviously I know well uh, and Doncaster I know really well So, but the stations are they're spot on they really are good really good to be fair of course when I'm sitting on the train I don't tend to sit I mean half, half the time when I used to commute for work I'd be working on the train or what, I'd sleep in the morning and work in the evening you know that's just how it is right? um, and even if I got lucky enough to, to not, be, not be working in the evening I'd be I don't know, watching something on the iPlayer or reading a book or whatever, you know, I'd rarely be sitting staring out the window. So it's only the approaches to stations that I recognise really well. Because uh, that's when you start to think, you know, where am I? How far have we got? Right, we've got a slight decrease in speed coming up, which must be indicative of an approaching station. Actually, it's not indicative because there's no blue line. Uh -huh. Well, we've slowed, nonetheless. Let's see what happens. Also means we're now starting to catch up with the one in front. Um, again. Despite the fact I was being really good and taking it easy. Oh, we're slowing down for the bend, is that it? Very nice these Zuma trains. I was really impressed when they first came out. Tell you what, though, there's not a lot of padding in those seats. Mm -hmm. If you want the true Azuma experience, you know, whatever chair you sit on, just slight put a board on top of it. That'll be what it feels like to sit on and resume your seat for an hour and a bit. Mm -hmm. It'd be great if they extended this. It really would. I'd love to go all the way to King's Cross. It'd be fantastic. That's a long way though. But remarkable. It stunned me when we first moved up to Grantham. That, you know, how far, if you look on a map, how far it is to King's Cross, to then to London, and it's an hour and ten minutes on the train. It's crazy. There we go, and we're up. Such a good, such a good line. What I also really appreciate about, and you know, and I, I know, I know a mate who used to commute in on the on the uh, west west coast, west coast, the GWR, whatever uh, route, the one out of Paddington that we've also got, right? Um, and he always had terrible problems with his trains. Most of the time, LNER was a good service because it was the main route north. So any issues, they get it fixed pretty fast. It was only once I got totally and utterly screwed. Um, but, uh, but for the most part, it was a really good service. Is a good, well, is, I mean, as far as I know, obviously I don't, I don't get it anymore, but. Ooh, where are we now? Is this a station? Some, some signs of life and activity and, ah, that's it. Eh. There we go. That's really odd approached it from a different direction. Uh, oh, I hadn't realised. 
So this is Retford. That was that was where I meant. I meant Retford. Okay, so this is Retford Station, right? So if you come, and again, I'm trying to use the arrow keys. So if you come this way, you see there's this little walkway here, which I'm assuming we can't, which we can get through. That's so cool. So you come down here. It's quite a long walk, I told you. And then here, you get here, and we, can we? You can't, no way. Oh wow, okay, I need to come here on foot. And there's the other line. How cool is that? It's awesome. In fact, it'd be great if they made that line because then they'd probably have some uh, AI services that came through on this route. It's cool. Loads of you probably knew about that already, but I think it's fun. And I can't believe we can, I can't believe that's all explorable. That's actually really impressive. Okay, I need to come and, uh, I need to come off foot here. Then. There must be some good collectibles. Yeah, fascinating. Anyway, there you go. Retford. And I did know that because actually I used to live, well, Retford's not far from where I actually used to live. Although Doncaster was our nearest mainline station and I didn't even know the train stopped at Retford. To be fair, I didn't often go from Don get a train from Doncaster myself. I was young at the time, but um, I have done since because I used to get there to go to my mum's. Occasionally before I had a car. Now I've got a car in the UK, so I, I don't have to worry about it so much. But it, it was for a while. I'd fly in, fly into London, and get a train to Doncaster to go to my mum's. Uh, so yeah, know the station there really well. And we're nearly there. Fifteen miles. It's not been as fast as I thought, but we're still going to be well early, as long as we don't get stopped. I can't remember what the uh, approach speeds are like. We probably will have to slow down a little bit on the way in. But uh, I hope you're still with me. <laughs> this is going to be a really long video. I should probably think about, you know, either chopping bits. My problem is I need to learn not to talk. But I have a habit. Sometimes, if I'm in the mood, and it does vary, and I do get quiet sometimes, I just tend to just spiel, I can't believe I've been saying, talking for the best part of 40 minutes, um, about rubbish, obviously. You, I'm sure you will agree with that statement. Um, yeah, I I just I find it really difficult to just say, right, I'm going to stop talking now, and I'll put some music, or we'll do a, we'll a time-lapse, or I'll just cut it, right, and I'll meet, I'll meet you a bit later, sort of thing. Well, you see, look, that was two yellows and a red, and now suddenly all of them are green. That doesn't make sense to me. If someone knows why that is, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. We should do some the Harlem line, um, because as I said on our last video, I need to say thank you to Train Simulator Driver. Um, and I did say that I would do when I did a route, when I did a drive on it, and that's the second time I mentioned him, and I've not even done it. So um, yeah, we should do some Harlem line, because actually I like it as well. It's one of my favorite American routes. I haven't got the new one yet. I'm sure I will do it at some point. Uh, but I, tempting though it always is to buy new routes. There really is no point. I've got so much to do. I've got some routes I've barely touched. I haven't restarted Sandpacks Grade. I haven't restarted the Bakerloo. And I didn't finish either of them before either. So, you know. <laughs> As I said before, I will try and avoid putting stuff on the channel that I've already done. Um, yeah, sometimes it might be quite fun to do so. Um, the problem is now that I can record, I'll just want to record, right? And then there's a risk that I'll never sort of catch up. I'm very, I, I, I like doing the journeys. I like having that guide and that sense of this is next, right? Occasionally I'll stray off because certainly some of the other locos that are around, for example, um, and, and things like that, you have to go into service mode for, and I'll go and I'll go and do a couple of things like that. But for the most part, I just like the journey mode. I like that sense of working through a list, sort of thing. You know, I'm very list oriented. Um, which means it would be really against my nature to start. And in some of them, you can't anyway, right? You have to do prior bits before you can do, um, you know, the, the sort of the next sort of chapter of the, the journey, sort of thing. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, it'd be really hard for me to go back and do you know go to, to skip ones that I've already done um, but because um, I've also got Tees Valley which I've done a little 
a little bit, I'd say a fair amount, I'm not quite enough to say a fair amount, but a reasonable amount of, and uh, what's the other one, Northern Transpen, um, and I've recently bought those, so uh, we've got those to do as well, all sorts. That's why I love this game, there's so much variety in it and I can't help but buy new routes and go to new places. That's, I like. I actually like travelling by train, I really do. So, you know, apart from the sense of the driving and the, the simulation of it, which is fun, um, I just like exploring new places by train, I always have done. And actually, because I'm in Dubai, I actually miss travelling by train. I, I do miss travelling by train. Um, I won't, as soon as I'm back in the UK and I'm doing it every day, I won't, I won't feel that way, but I do miss travelling by train. 7.6 miles. Nearly there. So about, about four minutes. Right, you've got four minutes. Do, 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 do. 25, Mike Harding. Got four minutes, what are you going to do with your four minutes? Well, uh, I don't know really. It's not really long, is it? Uh, okay. Go check him out. Very good bloke, still alive, still funny, still awesome. He was the best comedian when I was a child. Mike Harding Red Specs album, you'll probably find it on YouTube. Find it, listen. Brilliant, northern comedy, fantastic. There you go, that was technically the wrong way around. Usually do that when you meet another train, I think. I don't know. What do I know? Do, 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 do. Have a sip of tea. Ah, lovely cup of tea. It's not real tea, by the way, it's turmeric tea. It's good for me. It's good for my joints. It's too late to have a cup of tea. What time is it? Ooh, it's 8.47. Hello. Oh, I'm not picking you as well. Right, keep busy along here. say now but there's no point in stopping now because we're nearly there quite surprised so that means there's three miles of full speed leaves us less than a mile to start dropping speed okay so we're going to drop a little bit on the approach that means i need to plan this out a little bit better than that i really really do <laughs> oh shush okay so the speed limit officially drops to 100 before my stopping point we are, we are long, we, 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 we don't want to be doing 100 when we get to there, because we're nearly there. Ah oh dear. But that red signal can't be our stop because we've not seen the station yet. Actually, why haven't we seen the station yet? We should see the station by now. That doesn't make sense. Distance 2.9 miles and we've only got 2.4... Oh, weirdness. 2.4 miles to go, 2.3 miles to go. Oh, because the 2.2 miles is as the crow flies, the 2.9 miles is actually track distance. Hey, nice. Okay, let's start breaking. Because that red ain't going away. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Looks like there's a queue to go on the platform. Still a queue to go on the platform. Put a minimum break. If we're doing, you know, well, I suppose a little bit less. I kind of want to be doing less than 60, I think, when we go through that yellow. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm well aware. Which we are now. So I'll keep it on the minimum. So I'll take it off. We're now doing 50, that's fine. Okay, so now it's the other way around. Oh my god, mind is blown, that's so confusing. So a minute ago, the left thing that said this is how far to your stop point, because it's got a big hand, right? Um, said, 
was was greater than the distance on the the thing. Or was it the other? Oh my God! Now I can't remember what was the other end. It's doing my head. And now it's less than the distance on the thing. That's so confusing. Anyway, let's do some braking. Hey, Lotus. Whoa, look at all them, all them locos. That's awesome. I thought that was going to be about me. There you go. And we've just gone to yellow. Our platform is clear. And here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Doncaster. Doncaster is your next station stop. Please make sure you take all your belongings. Don't leave your crap on my train. Otherwise we'll have to take it off and blow it up. And you'll really ruin the whole service for everybody else. Next station stop is Doncaster. Thank you for travelling with LNER on this Azuma class. Awesome. It's Doncaster, isn't it? Platform 4. Yep, I figured we were going somewhere. Where are we going? There we go in. Let's take off a bit more speed then. And we're quite a long, we're quite a long train. We've got loads of time, loads of distance, and loads of time. I told you we're going to be early. We're not as early as I thought we might be, but I told you we'd be early. And of course, because I spent so much time faffing with cameras. Sorry about that. Uh, this is Doncaster. I do love this. It's spot on. Um, Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent, but it's Doncaster. You know, it's fine. Structurally, it's very good. Yes, I know. Chill, chill. Do, 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 do. Oh, look. There's a Midlands, Midlands train over there. That's a great route. Now, that is a route that when it came out, I was a bit, oh, it's a bit dull. And then they did a massive overhaul on it, a massive update. And you know what? It is now one of my favourite routes. It's so good. And with the, when you add the cargo line in as well, it's bloody brilliant. Hey, hey! Oh, just bumped into three yards. Oh, good. There you go, folks. We're in Doncaster. Does that say French fence? Shopping centre French fence, it's not called French fence, I can't remember what it's called. I told you the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Yeah, look, Midland Mayhem, amazing. Or Midland Trains, well, these ones, well. Welcome to Doncaster, it says so. Coolio. Oh, he's chucked me out my seat. It's a bit harsh. <sighs> bit speeding, naughty boy. Whoa, look at that score, 21,000. Good, good, good. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of fun. Thank you for listening to my name, Drivel. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, looks like this might become a regular thing. Fingers crossed. So I hope you're enjoying it. I'm having a great time. And, uh, you know the drill. Likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>